Um, impressive, but rather pointless. And hot water bottles don't grow on trees, you know. But inflating things for fun, on the other hand, now there is plenty to be gained from that. And I refer to, of course, the classic art of, everyone loves it, blowing bubbles. Some say it's child's play. The fun is infectious. Come on, you can get it. Oh, yes, there's one. And some people even turn it into a fine art making extraordinary creations out of air and soapy water. Yes, really cutting-edge bubble-making can elevate this innocent pastime into a full-blown spectacle that mesmerises audiences. Let me introduce you to a man who can do just that, a genuine bubble king. Yes, this is Sam Sam, and he is a world-class bubbleologist. One of the lesser-known scientific disciplines, that is. That means he is serious about bubbles. Sam holds numerous world bubble records, including for making the largest free-floating outdoor bubble ever. In 2015, he blew away the competition, creating a soapy structure 822.83 cubic feet in size. To you and me, that is over twice the size of an average car. Huge! Whenever I try and impress my kids by blowing bubbles, they last for about five seconds and they're, well, they're about that big. They're rubbish. So what on earth has Sam got up his soapy sleeve that I'm missing? We asked Sam to demonstrate the difference between his longer lasting bubbles and the rubbish type that I make. To start with, he adds 2.5 fluid ounces of washing up liquid to 25 fluid ounces of water. This represents a typical mixture most of us would use to get bubbling. So let's time how long this bubble here lasts before it pops. There it is. Not a bad start with one minute and four seconds before the pop diddy pop. Now Sam's changing the mixture. He's adding 9.5 fluid ounces of glycerin. Using the same wand technique, he's going to see how long this bubble survives. And look at that, it has already outlasted his first attempt. Finally, it bursts after an astonishing 4 minutes and 25 seconds. Wow, so that bubble there lasted an incredible four times longer. And all that just by adding a sugary compound to regular bubble mixture. But what's the explanation for this longevity? Why did it last so long? Well, to explain, let's look at the science of bubbles in detail. A bubble is created by a thin layer of water sandwiched between two single layers of detergent molecules. Immediately, the water starts evaporating through the layers and soon enough, as the liquid breaks apart, the bubble bursts. But the glycerin forms weak bonds with the water molecules. These make it much harder for the water to evaporate and so the bubble lasts longer. You can get glycerin from most drugstores, so now you and I have no excuses for not staying the distance in the bubble states.